I don't believe it. It can't be done. No, sir, it just can't be done. What's that, Grandpa? What can't be done? Well, we were just talking about a tractor, Tommy. One that's supposed to pull a three-bottom plow, like yours there. I say it won't do it. Well, my John here pulled my plow, all right. See, Dad, there's your proof. Uh, Johnny Severson is willing to bring out a 420 any time and show us what it will do. Oh, Shaw, sure. we're all too busy. Severson ought to know. You ought to have enough power in a tractor in order to... It's got more power than his Model B, Dad. You figuring on trading in your B? No, it's still running fine. And there are times when I need two tractors, even on my small farm. Say, gee, Willikers, Mother and Peggy be here pretty soon, and I've got work to do. Poor Mr. Gordon. Has to work all the time, even when he comes to my house. He asked for it. Need any help? Now, well, never mind you fellas. Betty's going to help me. Let's see, we got everything now. Hmm. Hickory chips. Hickory chips for flavor. Oh, uh, not now. That's a come after. Yes, sir. Hickory chips for flavor. Betty, everything ready? Everything's ready. Good, good. Darn this hat. I wonder what's keeping Mother and Peggy. Gee, these coals are just about right. Here they come. Oh, I'll get uh, the steaks from the kitchen. Well, what's going on over there? Who's in that funny get-up? Why, it's Tom. <laughs> of all... <laughs> Tom, what are you up to? That get-up. <laughs> what in the world are you... All right, everybody. A one and a two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday oh. to you. Happy birthday, dear mother. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Tom, <laughs> you remembered for once. <laughs> well, I can't afford to forget every year, mother. Peggy and Betty helped me. They tricked you into going to town. <laughs> <laughs> but it was his idea, mother. Really, all I did was make a salad. Now, here are the steaks, Mr. Gordon. Oh, wonderful. Mm. Tom, where on earth did you get that hat and apron? <laughs> well, the man on TV said you couldn't cook without the proper costume. <laughs> well, the coals are just right. Now then, how do you have your steaks? Oh, I like mine well done. Mm -hmm. Medium rare, Tom. Medium rare for me. Go ahead. There you are, son. Grandpa, I mean they're burnt. Well, now, Tommy, they're all right. Here's your medium rare, Molly. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Grandpa, Mommy, they're burnt. Young man, you should learn never to embarrass the cook. But they're burnt. Here, Tommy, <laughs> here are two new winners. Thank you. I'm going to roast them myself. <laughs> there you are, boy. Gee, Dad, I didn't know you could cook like this. It's news to me, too. How about preparing lunch for my guild next week? We're looking for someone to cook the church supper next Wednesday. What am I offered? My great success is due to many years' experience wiping dishes for Mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the telephone. I'll get it. Well, it's probably some of the neighbors. Smelled my cooking and want to come over. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Eric. This is Johnny Severson. Severson? Hello, Johnny. Say, Eric, I got in a carload of new tractors this afternoon, and there's a 420 row crop utility among them. I'd like to bring it out, show you what it can do. Tom Gordon and Ralph are over here now, and we were just talking about the 420. 
I'll bet old Tom is again it. Uh, not exactly. He just won't believe it will pull three bottoms. Listen, Eric. You tell that old buzzard that I'll make him a proposition. He can choose the field, set the time, and I'll bet him the best hat in town that I can pull three bottoms at normal plowing depth with this 420. I'll sure tell him. We'll let you know when to come, provided he takes up your bet. It's a deal. Bye, Eric. Bye. Well. Who was it? Johnny Severson. Uh -huh. Sir, interrupting our birthday party to talk tractors, I suppose. He didn't know about the party, but he did talk tractors. He did, huh? Yes. He got in a new 420 today. Wants to bring it out. Oh, Eric, I don't know. And he I... threw a challenge right at you. Huh? What was that, Eric? He'll bet you the best hat in town that the 420 will pull three bottoms. And you choose the field and set the time. <laughs> well, what more could you ask for, Dad? Yeah. What more could I ask for? What more could I ask? Why, nothing, by golly. Not a thing. <laughs> Not a single thing. <laughs> I choose the field. ought to stop Johnny's tractor. <laughs> Hi. Morning. Hey, you're out kind of early, aren't you? I'm out winning that new hat. I just picked the field that will whip Johnny and his tractor. Yeah, where? Backside of my farm. It'll stop him all right. <laughs> Hard as rock. And it hasn't rained in nearly three weeks. Well, Johnny should have thought of that. Say, when we have him out? Today or Monday? Uh, Ralph and I are bailing hay on Monday. What about Tuesday? Fine. What do you say? Let's run into town now and make the date with Johnny. Good. And why not pick up Ralph on the way in? He'd like to see those new tractors, too. Okay. I'll have Betty call him. All right. Anytime. All right, Johnny, I'll be in to see you in a couple of days. Fine, Don. So long. So long. The Gordon Posse. I didn't do it, fellas. Remember my wife and children. Well, you should have been thinking of them when you offered that silly bet. You've lost the price of a new hat, Johnny. On the contrary, Tom. I made the bet because I've needed a new hat for years and couldn't afford to buy one. But there's the outfit that's going to win it for me. Boy, what a swell-looking deal. Nice, isn't it? Hey, you've got power steering on your 420 now. Yes, sir. It's a brand-new feature. Imagine. Power steering on a little tractor like this. Size doesn't mean everything, Tom. Most everybody wants power steering these days. It makes work a lot easier. Makes life more pleasant. I sure wish I had it on my 40. Relax, son. Relax. Haven't they changed the steering wheel? They've tilted it down. Makes it even more comfortable to drive. And optional five-speed transmission Gives you another speed of six and a quarter miles. That's in addition to your top speed of 12 miles an hour. What's this lever? Well, that's the lever that engages and disengages the power takeoff. However, a continuous running power takeoff is available. Say, that would work swell with your number 10 chopper. It would. Use a four-row cultivator on this, Johnny? Oh, sure, Tom. That's where this tractor saves a lot of money. 
you can cultivate just as many acres in a day as with a big tractor in four row. And a lot less fuel. And with dual touchomatic, you raise the front and rear rigs independently and lower them the same way when going over grass waterways or at the end of the rows. This looks like the tractor I need. Now, if you want a direction reverser, instead of a continuous running power takeoff, you can have it. What's that for, Johnny? Well, its biggest use is in loading manure and jobs like that. Uh, must be quite a gadget. I'll demonstrate it when I bring the tractor out. Say, I want to show you something brand new. Well, is this the new LP job? Yeah, it's the first one I've had in. The same tractor as the other 420s all the way through, except that the engine is designed for LP fuel. Same features, same horsepower. Uh, speaking of horsepower and demonstrations, that's what we really came to town for. How about next Tuesday at my place? That's fine with me. The ground's kind of hard and dry, but I'll take you on. Hasn't rained for three weeks. Remember, Johnny, you said I could name the time and the place. Right. And I'm not a bit worried. The 420 is rated as a 2-3 plow tractor. And I know that it will handle three bottoms in any soil around here. Yeah. You don't know the soil in my pasture, Johnny. Your pasture? Yeah. I'm going down to Billy Wilson's and pick out a new hat now. Size seven and an eight. Tell him to save a seven and a quarter for me. Okay. <laughs> Huh? Maybe the old bugger's got me at that. Huh. Tom, don't you think you're taking advantage of Johnny? Maybe just a wee little bit? Mother, I've told you twice. Johnny insisted that I set the time and the place. Can I help it if it hasn't rained? No, but you would never set a plow in that dried-out field if it weren't to win an argument and a hat. And now for the weather report for this area. Partly overcast Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But there is no indication of rain to relieve the prolonged dry spell now going into the fourth week. No rain before Tuesday. <laughs> Tom Gordon, I'm ashamed of you. Hey, what's that? Say, whose side are you on anyway? about ready. We thought you'd ride with us. Tommy has to be there for Sunday school in a few minutes, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, don't wait for us. Go ahead. Some rain we had last night. Radio said two inches. We sure needed it, too. Every place but on your dad's farm. I'll bet dad's out there now, seeing how far the rain soaked in. 
Now, don't pick on Dad Gordon. He's the best friend I've got. You ain't my apple. Oh, we're just kidding, Tommy. But we'd better get going or we'll be late for Sunday school. Bye, Tommy. Bye. Johnny Severson. What's he coming out so early for? Well, it's Tuesday. He probably needs a new hat to wear tonight. Well, I'll be... Call Ralph and Eric. Tell them to come right over. Hi there, Johnny. Hello, Tom. Kind of early for you fellas, isn't it? No, not when we have work to do. Nice rain we had Sunday. Yeah, crops sure needed it. And the pastures too? Huh? Well, uh, you fellas go out through that gate. Uh, we'll plow the east end of the pasture. Good. Bill and I will open the land and get the plow adjusted. Well, Ralph and Eric will be along pretty soon. We'll come right out. Okay. plow isn't running very level, is it, Johnny? That's what Bill's fixing right now. You see, all you have to do on this three-point hitch to level the plow sideways is turn this crank. Now, if your plow is nosing in or running out, you level it fore and aft with this turnbuckle. Simple, isn't it? Well, she's all set, Eric. Want to take her around? You betcha. Plenty of grunting pulling those three bottoms. Oh, Dad. This is everything I've been wanting. You like it, huh? It's really got the stuff. And Johnny, I discovered it has a foot throttle on it. Nice, huh? Gives you 25% increase in speed no matter where your hand throttle is set. It's great for getting around in close quarters and in transporting. Let me take her around one. Okay.
Man, what a tractor. Dad, you've got to try this power steering. Well, maybe. I told you I'd demonstrate the direction reverser. Bill, get up on the tractor and we'll show them how it works. Okay. If you're going forward and want to back up, you simply operate the clutch, pull the control lever, and back up without shifting gears. To go forward, operate the clutch and push the lever forward. You can reverse your direction of travel with a transmission in any gear. Speeds up your operation and gives you all forward speeds in reverse. Hmm. Must be quite a gimmick. Another feature is the power-adjusted rear wheels. You simply loosen these four nuts. Set these two stops at the position desired. Ease in the clutch, and the engine power slides the wheels in or out on these spiral rails. You mean you don't need a jack? Just a special wrench, and that comes with a tractor. Dad, you've got to take that tractor for a round. Well, okay, if you insist. Bill, swing it around for Tom. All right. I didn't think he'd do it. Johnny, I guess I owe you a $3 hat. What did you say about a $30 hat? $30 hat? Bet was. Best hat in town. <laughs> okay, Johnny. It's worth the price just to see this little tractor pull three bottoms and prove it can be done. <laughs>